Today, this video is sad. As you can tell, this thing, the filter's off. It's empty, no fish is in there. Today I'm doing water changes on all of them today. And I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna go to the store and find something to put here as a lid. Cause there's two things that I'm, that I'm gonna focus on today. And today's kind of a day where it's just raining. It's raining for two days already. In Arizona, it's weird. So, I had a missed call yesterday from my brother while I was working and where I work at, we can't have our phones allowed at the warehouse with the video at our locker, at our lockers. And um, I come home and uh, the car catfish sadly passed away. And me thinking, what could it have been? What could have been the water? I checked the pH, everything was good. The water temperature was perfect. Everything was good, and I was checking out that the checking out that the air distant shark was poking it. The car catfish was completely dead. He was really injured, wound, wounded. Yes, I say it. So right off the bat, I had to do something. I grabbed the air distant shark. I put him in a bucket. And I went to go don donate it uh, to a buddy. He's he's taking care of it. He had he wanted a well that buddy's my cousin. I had give him a twenty gallon tank. And right now he only has a pleco in there, so I told him like, hey, I got a little little little, little distant shark, the bino one that he liked. And right, I want to I want to go take it to him. I did treatments. I put I put this right here and then I put some I forgot what it's called. Uh, I heard it's a red bottle. But I tried, I mean he, he was doing good. He was gonna like he was like I started starting to swim again. But today when I woke up, he sadly sadly was upside down, he was dead. So from what I'm guessing, I I guess the distant shark was bullying him, beating him up. I never knew this was gonna ever happen. I'm barely starting this new hobby. I've been with Sai for like a year, I guess, year and a half. It was my first time having an iridescent shark. I actually did a little research. They said they weren't that of aggressive. They were, I guess they were, uh, what could I say? Um. Well, that they weren't really aggressive, you know. They were just calm fish to have. Was, was, a lot of people had told me, but sadly he passed away. And if I end up getting another car catfish, I'm gonna make sure he stays on this tank alone. But for now, I'm just gonna empty the tank out, clean it up really good. Add water again and let it cycle for at least two weeks, maybe three weeks, just because. <clears throat> because when I like when I buy a new fish, I like I want to make sure the water is really good before I even buy the before I buy it again. The car catfish, because I really want it. I really wanted it. I was it was actually growing. I was really into it now. I would, most, I would mostly come every day, feed him, focus on him, check him out, check the water temperature, check the water pH. I would do everything. It was everything was all okay, all perfect. But I'm guessing that a distant shark came out to be aggressive. How many you learn from your mistakes? I'm guessing they didn't have enough space. I don't know. Ten gallon tank right here. I mean, the, I mean, the redemption shark will always be on top, and the uh, car on the, will be always on the bottom all the time, or in there. But then I don't, I, I don't know what happened. 
my brother, nobody was here, everybody was at school. Well, my brothers were at school, my mom and dad and parents were working. I don't know what could have gone wrong. I don't know what triggered the addition shark to attack it, beat it up. Kind of sucks though. I was like, I was into this fish, like I said. I was into it just how I was into tank. How I would like always take care of him. I was taking care of him too much all the time. Make sure everything was good on him, everything. And that was the same. That's how tank was that, that big when I bought him. Three inches, I guess. Three inches, I think so. I think the car catfish was three inches too as well. But I mean, I don't know what happened. And if I end up buying again, I'm not if I'm not gonna do, I'm not gonna if I am gonna buy it again. I am gonna buy another car fish. This time, put him. I'm gonna put him alone here. And for whatever reason, if I, if I end up getting the other catfish, which he is coming soon, hopefully, like I said, you're going with Tom right there for now. He is like the size of the shovel nose. And if something happens, I have a backup there. You got to tank in the living room. It's been psych. It's been on for like almost a month. Parents, their parents, almost they tell me why. Why do I have it running if there's no fish in there? And I tell them the reason why. I explain them everything, and then they understood. So, if anything, I'll put them in thirty gallon tank, and I throw tank and cannon to the outside pond. Once it gets a little warmer over here, because right now it's like 43 in Arizona. But this is a little short video, a little quick video update on what happened. Sadly, my car catfish died. He was trying, I mean, he was active. He was really active. He was the same time I threw the little sinking carnivore pellets. He would smash them, kill destroy them. To the point where I was going to start thinking of buying a little ghost shrimps. But that they never that they never came. But like I said, like I always say, you learn from your mistakes. That mistake you make it into a positive note. You rise from that and you make it better. You you find a solution for it and you go back at it. You go back at it again, you never give up. Rest in peace, a car catfish. Uh hope you guys have a nice have a wonderful day, which I'm not. I lost a catfish. I had a get rid of one. So now this tank is alone. Like I said, I'm gonna take out the water out, clean it up really good, Set, add water again, let it cycle for at least, I'm gonna say a month, just to make sure everything's good. Put everything it needs again. And hopefully no more mistakes will happen again. That's my first fish. That's my first fish that ever passed away from me, and hopefully it's gonna be the first and last. But I doubt it. A lot of YouTubers, a lot of people, fishes that have been dying, they died. So I mean, you learn from your mistakes. And everyone's perfect, and we'll see what happens after there. And then the next video I make, I upload is gonna be about the. Blackfin shark. And anybody, if anyone's interested in it, I need to donate it. I'm gonna go donate it to Ocean Floor, or I don't know what I'm gonna do with him. He's starting to be more aggressive towards the Oscars now. My battery went out. Like I was saying, he has to I have to do something with him. He's been being more aggressive now. Look, if you could tell my Oscars a little stressed out. I added some. Uh, for stress relief right now so I don't know if I'm gonna do this later on today or well, I'm gonna think about it what should I do with them I could put them with the red tails but it's gonna be a little bit too crowded I'm gonna see how he's still at how, how he's, he's still doing if he's if I see that he's still being a little too aggressive then it's gonna have to be time to let go of another fish I hate when I do this I mean I felt I had to get rid of the resistance shark. I was thinking of doing that later. I mean, way before we got that car catfish. But 
I was getting into it as well. But we'll see what to do with this guy. Even though he's a nice guy, he's a lovely fish. He's one of the first fishes that I bought. He's well, I bought the Oscars for I got I bought four Oscars. I had the two albinos and the two red Oscars. And then I, you guys you could tell my previous video how to rehome two of them. Since they were it was weird. It was the two regular games, the two albinos all the time. Well they started when they were in that tank up there. But now I only got two albinos. And I don't want to get rid of those because those ones were with me since they were what could I say two and a half three inches they were pretty they were small they were small they've been they've been with me for like at least five months four months with me five months and then and then I bought him he's the reason why they call my Jeep Spanish term of shark tiburon because I'll be I, I ever since I bought it I, I, I had to show show them everybody at work but like, hey look at my new look at my new fish look at my new fish at first everybody thought the sharks like are you crazy I'm like yeah there's no freshwater sharks out there come on now and I mean I'm it's a, this is a new hobby for me so I mean I can't really you know, I told them I can't I'm barely getting the hang of the freshwater in the future, who knows? I'll probably have saltwater tanks, but for now I'm sticking. I'm sticking with freshwater. But yeah, guys, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about this guy's future. In the next video I upload, we'll find out. For now, I'm gonna concentrate on the tank. Clean, like I said, take all the water out, clean it up, <sighs> let it cycle, and uh, yeah, we'll see from now on. Well, definitely, definitely, for sure, and a car catfish will go there again. Just because I, I lost one doesn't mean I can't take care of one. I mean, I kind of failed. I mostly failed for not noticing. I mean, it happened in one day, and I was not here. That I was working, and I, that day I got home like around seven, eight, eight. You say that seven or eight? And he was already beat up, so in some way I failed. But you learn from your mistakes, like I said earlier on. And you make that mistake into a positive note, and you keep growing. Just let that be a warning. Don't don't do that again. If anything, I'll I'll put him in there alone. No other fish in there. Probably a, probably a pleco. Well, that pleco went with the beta for now. He's back there chilling. Cause if I put him here, I don't know if he's gonna get bullied by these guys. The culprit might try to eat him. And over here, I don't know. I just don't wanna lose another, another fish. Kind of sucks though. You're into a fish, and then I don't know where you go. You come home, and he's injured, bullied. I try my best. I try to try to heal him back. I guess he was really like really really injured the next day when I woke up from work I, I seen him I was right there floating that day I, did, I didn't even want to go to work <clears throat> so it kind of sucked though but like I said let's keep our head up we'll get another one for sure and we won't do a, the same mistake twice but the first time we learn and we'll have another one soon so for now, that's, it. that's about it, guys. And I'll see you guys in another video. Peace. Mm -hmm.